So it is so fun to be able to connect with the people we see all over the industry doing the real work on the front lines. Uh, Ed Roberts, you have a very special guest today. We're going to let you introduce your guest. So I have my fixed ops director. A lot of people see what we do at Bozard Ford Lincoln, uh, but not necessarily see all the people behind the scenes. And Matt Norris is my fixed operations director. And uh, he's been with the store now for coming up on six years. Yep. And wow. uh, been in that role since I vacated it back in uh, 2021. So let's get this straight. You vacated the role and you had to fill his shoes. Yeah. No, <laughs> no small task there. I don't, I, yeah, no expectation, no small task. What, what's the nature of like the mentoring relationship you had with Ed leading into that? Like, did you feel ready when you stepped in? I did. Uh, Ed, Ed's very, uh, We've been doing leadership classes at the dealership now for uh, a little over two years. Um, one of the other service managers and I went to Ed uh, a little over two years ago, and hey, we're looking for more, uh, for more growth, not just personally, but obviously professionally. And so we created, Ed helped us put this program together, and he's pretty much led it. But uh, three days a week, we do some leadership meetings, uh, and it's, it's really benefited me, not just in a business uh, aspect, but also in my personal relationship at home with my wife and, and, and my kids as well. So. so you did this thing just there. I don't know if you noticed it. You just kind of said, like, you know, three days a week, we blah, 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 you know. As if that's normal. As if that's somewhat <laughs> normal, right? Like that, I think that in itself speaks volumes to the operational fortitude of an organization to say, nope, we are gonna commit three days a week time, however long that is, I don't care if it's 10 minutes or two hours, time to saying, this is important, because if we don't do it, we'll right. die, right? It's like, that's the mentality you have to have to make sure that happens. So I wanna dive into it a little bit because he, he didn't he didn't play it out well enough. No, I did. About 60 days into it, his wife says, what's, what's, what's going on with you? You're changing. You, you, you're, I'm having fun with this. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And that's what leadership is. Yeah, that's what leadership oh, is. It's becoming a better human. And when you become a better human, the ones around you feel that they become better humans as well. It is. And, it, and the other cool thing that you've, we've gotten to see over the course of this two and a half years is it started out with three of us, then it quickly became five of us, and now it's, I think, ten of us that are doing it consistently three days a week. And it's one thing that we don't like. There's no excuse. Like we, it's it's so important to us that we do this every yeah, single uh, day what, that we it's planned. When do you when do you meet? Like so what's the structure around it? Mondays, like there's probably a lot of people listening that are like, okay, like how is this? How do you fit this in? Yeah, it's, it's a good point. Service service director, you're kind of a busy position. It, yeah, just a little bit, right? <laughs> kind yeah. of a couple. So of we meet three days a week. It's on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Mondays, one person from the group presents. And then Thursdays and Fridays, Ed usually will, Thursdays is usually a very interactive uh, portion of it. And then Fridays is is more lecture. Uh, is, is more lecture. But it, it it's really good because we don't we What don't time focus. is it? Like a morning thing? Yes. Yeah, so, 8 o'clock. Uh, we, we try to keep it between 30 to 40 minutes. Sometimes yep. it's a little bit shorter, sometimes a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, but So it's we're committing a couple hours a week yeah. to it. And, right. uh, the impact from us is huge. And it's not, we, we're, we're specifically avoiding business related stuff. We talk about like the overarching, how do you become a better person? How do you become a better leader? And what those qualities uh, involve? And, and we discuss and we dive into those and discuss those, but we make it a point not to go into the day-to-day -day operations. Right, because right. then you're you've being got, other, you've got other times for yeah. that. Absolutely. 100% correct. So. Oh my goodness. Every time I've got like little chills down my back. Every I'm time so we start talking, the well gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Well, because we talk about in our industry, we're like train, 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 train. And everybody's talking about training. Train your people, get good people or get your people good, right, is the phrase. And, and that always is centered around the process of doing your job, right? right? And though those are important things, that type of training, that type of interaction with leadership and employees is extremely important. The... The, the change that can be done through personal growth as opposed to professional, like practical tactical, Expedia, it, it makes the practical tactical stuff go so much faster, right? Yeah, absolutely. Have you seen in those 10 people, like the thing of doing your job role actually have an impact too? It, 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 it's incredible. You, you can look at all of the people that have been involved in it since day one, including myself and the people that have subsequently joined the group because of their desire. We don't go out and farm it. We're, it it's strictly like you see us in there, you ask about it, you're inquisitive, and these people are like, hey, I really want to be a part of this. That's the it's first like fight that's club. The first, well, it's the first, <laughs> you gotta literally, it's the first it. yeah, yeah. criteria for that. Like you, you have to it. actually pursue it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta want it. How did it start? 
So like I said, about two and a half years ago, um, John Douglas and I uh, were co-managing, working for Ed, we're co-managing uh, you know, the, the, the service department. And we both felt like we were lacking a lot of like, you know, back up. In our industry, it's, it, it's, it's so common. Hey, you did a great job selling cars. You did a great job writing service. Here's a service manager business. Now you're Here's a sales manager. Totally different role. But there's role. been, but there's been no leadership, or there's been no formal like training and, and people pouring into other people on right. how to how to be a leader and how to lead people properly. It's just been, hey, you were really successful and you sold a lot of cars or you wrote a lot of service or you turned a lot of hours and now we're going to put you into this position. And so some of that was that 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 effect of getting put into those positions without having a lot of that background of how do we lead people? How do we truly yeah. care about our people and treat them the way they should be treated? And how do we grow them and mentor them? And, and that's really ultimately like, hey, we feel like this is where we're really lacking. Can you help us with this? And he was like, 100% all in, let's yes. run with it. And so, every leader wants that out of your people, yeah, right? And yes, let me, let me break that down just a little bit more. John and, and Matt was running a very large, very successful fixed operations department. And, and, and that's demanding in itself. Sure. And in those moments, you feel like you got to pick up a lot of pieces. And that's where busy versus the fact that was our first meeting was we're busy because they says, hey, we need some help. We need some guidance because we don't feel like we, we're, we're, we ever have enough time to get everything that we need to do. And I said, we've got to figure things out and become less busy. Let's look at what we're doing. And so that, that led into the mastering the art of delegation and all those elements and, and leveraging streams and those things to make them more effective. Yeah. And immediately they felt an impact from it and they wanted more. So the Mondays, everybody that's in there goes in rotation. So every 10 weeks, each one I'm holding. So it goes in rotation on, on a different person going every Monday. And then I'm hosting it Thursday, Friday, unless I'm out. And then Matt will take over and run with it. But it, it, everybody grows from it. And when that happens, everybody everybody in the store wins because they're connected to one of those 10 people somewhere along the way. Yeah. What's one step that I think there are probably a lot of people hearing this, that this triggers something inside them? So it's saying, that sounds great. Like you said, all this training people. How, what would your uh, response or what would your advice be to leadership who maybe hears this or, may, or maybe even they're not in leadership, but this is kind of magnetic and drawing them forward. What's a good starting point, right? Like, I mean, I'm talking like training this. How do you like make a commitment to actually move a little bit forward? Well, it starts with, with starting. It starts with, with, mile with, one. with scheduling it because we talk about that we need to do training and every year we usually, that's usually part of our priorities. We need to yeah, make sure we do some training. Always. But we never, ever get started with it. And you can't make something better until you get it started. So so get started. YouTube some stuff. Use the resources that's out there. It's already there. You use some stuff to get started with it. You're not going to say this. I'm going to say this. Your book, Mile One Leadership, is a great place to get started because you yeah. could literally just take a chapter of it at a time and from someone who's actually practicing it right now and you're pretty you're pretty responsive and available like even you on linkedin like you love to help people do this absolutely so i'm, I'm going to go ahead and recommend your book model and leadership as a good place to start because you can go chapter by chapter and there's a lot of bite-sized principles absolutely. that you unpack enough that you could easily become a discussion of a session so i will take that from for, for a moment because i wrote the book in a way that if you take a moment and it takes about seven minutes to read a chapter, if you read that chapter, yes. whatever chapter that is, you should get something from it. And if you do, read another one. If you don't, pass along with somebody else. But if you take those seven minutes to read that chapter, that is a leadership class that you can, that you can put together for your team. Yes. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your heart for the industry, your heart for each other and, and, and your team and giving maybe like a pathway for someone to start. Appreciate it. Thank I appreciate you, you guys people. making us available. To the, uh, to, to the industry. Thanks, guys, for what you do. Always. Thanks, guys.